good morning channel and welcome to the first motor vlog of 2024 I'm heading off this morning to a nearby town of Arlington you guys that are here in the Metroplex know where Arlington is but if you're not here it's where the Cowboys and the Rangers play it's about 45 miles from here Got a running errand over there this morning, so I thought I would take you guys along. It is a crisp, well the bike says 44 degrees. That means I'm going to place it at about 40 or 41 degrees out here, which is right at my riding limit, because it is pretty chilly. The seat is warm, the grips are starting to warm up, and I think it's going to be okay this morning. So glad you guys could join me here in 2024. We're going to have a lot of fun on the channel. You know, one of the things I love about YouTube is we're a community, we're a family. We huddle around uh, our likes and our interests. In this case, motorcycles on the gold wings. Such a great community out there, and I'm so blessed to have met so many new friends from all over the place, to be honest with you. England, Larry in Canada, Mike Tui in Tennessee, Cruise Man and Don Smith here in Dallas. Sean, the humble plumber. And while we're on the topic of supporting and lifting each other up, Road Glide, my friend here in the DFW Metroplex. Kevin with MC Rider. Haven't had the pleasure to meet, but love his channel. Lots of education there. Just appreciate each and every one of you guys. So I can learn more about who might be here joining me today. I would love it if you'd post a quick note. Take five seconds. Post a quick note. Comment in the comment section. Let me know your name, what state you're from. If you care to give me your city, you can do that too. But no obligation. I would like to know what state you're from. And if you're outside the United States watching this video, let me know that too appreciate each and every one of you. It's so interesting every week to see where the comments come from. So please, yes, take five seconds and leave me a comment. Bike set on cruise control just feels effortless. Seat and hands are warming up really well now. So yeah, I'm going to be fine on this uh, this trip, even though it's a little chilly. I raised the windshield up, you know, to eye level, but I noticed the wrap-around wrap wind when you do that really pulls my head forward. And yeah, that's no bueno. So I'm leaving the windshield down so that my helmet's catching some of that front wind sort of balance it out a little. Hope you guys saw my one year review of this Honda Go Wing. Posted that video a few days ago. I'll put a link to it at the top of the screen here. Uh, where I go over my likes and dislikes and pretty much every nook and cranny of this 2023 Honda Go Wing. So if you're in the market for a Go Wing, 
you might want to check that video out as I highlight the things I love about this bike and some things that could be improved. And Tom, my friend Tom in Arlington. Tom and I have communicated back and forth via email and YouTube post. Relatively new YouTuber and Goldwing owner. Tom, I'm heading to your neck of the woods, my friend. Super glad to know you. Have to remember this bike does not yet have adaptive cruise control. All my cars do, so in the case of this car that just pulled in front of me, my cars would have slowed down. This bike will not when it's on cruise control, so gotta do it manually. too far from cruise man out here I know he's busy this morning with stuff to do good morning cruise man I'll likely see cruise man tomorrow morning as we have our routine breakfast maybe try a few other things in the day so y'all uh, y'all be on the lookout on cruise man's channel Just got off Highway 121, turning on to Interstate 35 East. And we will spend a short time on Interstate 35 East where we will then catch President George Bush Turnpike Toll Road, if you will, and continue our journey. here, President George Bush Turnpike. We don't want to go east, we want to go west. Arlington's a fun city. If you live here, you know it is. If you don't, Arlington not only is where the Rangers have played for their entire career here in Texas, but uh, you know, the Cowboys have moved there now with AT&T Stadium. It used to be Texas Stadium over in Irving, Texas, but now they are stone's throw from the Ranger Stadiums. Matter of fact, there's three stadiums in that one little area. But also there's Six Flags over Texas there, which is a giant amusement park, if you guys don't know about that. Uh, it's been there my entire life. I've lived in this Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex my entire life. So, you know, roller coasters the whole bit, you think, when you think of an amusement park. Fun place to go. I haven't been in a long time because I'm an old guy now and roller coasters aren't near as much fun. just washed the bike recently and I looked down a minute ago and noticed that these louvers I had turned flat again so it was not letting any of that warm air up from the engine towards my legs and man I flipped those to the side like that and instantly you could feel some warm air on my legs that's amazing how well those work yep definitely a good ad Valley Ranch used to be the old training facility for the Dallas Cowboys. Now, of course, they train at the Star in Frisco, not far from my house. You know, we're getting into Irving now, and uh, 
for about a decade of my life, I worked down here at a Japanese company, NEC. You guys know NEC, you've probably seen their branding on TVs and old back in the day pagers and cell phones even. Anyway, I was working with them when we built a brand new home office and it's here on the right up here, a little bit of uh, just a tiny bit of Japanese architectural influence with the ridge hanging over that top floor up there. You can see it right over there on my right right now. Long since sold to McKesson. One time it was, uh, what was it? Some insurance company after NEC moved out of it. But yeah, for a decade I made this daily commute. AAA Texas was the insurance company that moved into that NEC headquarters after we moved out. They stayed there for a good long time until McKesson took over. Getting off this freeway and onto 183, Highway 183 West towards Fort Worth and DFW Airport. DFW Airport is the second largest airport in land mass in the United States. I forget who's first. But is getting toasty. Set on four out of five. I'm going to crank that down one here. Toasty buns. How does my friend Chris Caliente say it? Toasty. Yeah. Something like that. say my friend I haven't had the pleasure of meeting Chris Caliente yet but I will at some point in 2024 because if even if it takes that long late in the year there's going to be a, another toy ride that I believe he will part, partake in here in Dallas and I think I will join them this year him and Road Glide and Brother Cowboy and a few others yeah I think I want to join them this year Oh, the traffic in this town. Always a joy. Always a joy. I will be turning off of Highway 183. That was a very short junket here on 183. I'll be turning off on Highway 360, which runs north-south and heads into Arlington. Not cold at all, guys. There's no part of me that's cold now. I would say I am cool here and there, but certainly not cold. All right, 360 South, that's the way we want to go. Over, overpass capital of the world. <laughs> I think we are running, if memory serves correctly, we are, we are coming by the old headquarters, I don't, maybe the current headquarters, I don't know, of American Airlines. I remember when I was in high school, you know, back when the wheel was invented. We came here to see the flight simulators on a field trip. That was so cool. And for the briefest moments in my life, I wanted to be an airline pilot. 
that didn't last long. And since now I get dizzy getting off the couch too fast, that was probably not in the cards. Another good thing about Waze, folks, is it tells you when there is an object in the road. So keep an eye out for objects in the road up here. Yes, there is. Lots of objects in the road. Love that about that program. Keeps you safe. All right. As I said, Six Flags of Texas over there. You might catch a, catch a glimpse of the Ranger Stadium there with a big T on it. Way off in the background, you can't really see is AT&T Stadium, home of the Cowboys. All right, about to get off Highway 360 and turn west onto Interstate I-20. I-20 is my old stomping grounds. Grew up in Duncanville. Went to school here at the University of Texas at Arlington. And so I traveled I-20 many, many times just a few decades ago. Not sure why everybody feels like they got to come to a crawl to change interstates. because they're not on a gold wing. Okay, fella, what are you doing? Don't get up to speed, are you? turn up here in a couple of miles will be Cooper Street. Cooper Street is the road that runs right through the middle of the University of Texas' Arlington. Spent many a day on Cooper Street and me and my wife when we first got married and uh, first was maybe a sophomore in, in college there, maybe a junior by then, I'm not sure. 19, I don't know, 80 something let's call it. Uh, we moved into a duplex over here on Cooper Street. No, it was not a duplex, it was a townhome. Had a detached garage. Uh, it was our first garage. Our apartment we lived into, and right, right after we got married, didn't have a garage. Uh, but this place was our first garage, and it was so nice having a garage, and it was close to school. It was an awesome place. Everybody's trying to hit me today. Absolutely invisible. That's what I am today. Horse trailer with horses. Texas, y'all. And what do we have here? Oh, cute little scooter. Where's your helmet, my friend? Oof. You got gray hair, too. You would think you would be helmet wise. But maybe you just don't care. And that is your right to just not care. I won't understand it, but okay. Getting off I 20, turning right, and heading north, bound on. Cooper Street and my destination destination excuse me is on Cooper Street so I will be back with you guys shortly all right folks my business is concluded gonna take the trek home now it's telling me 45 minutes 48 miles 
back to the house. So glad you guys could join me today on this very cool first moto vlog of 2024. So excited to be back out on the bike. I'm also blessed to be able to ride the bike almost year round. I know some other of my friends who watch my channel have to stow the bike for the winter and that's kind of sad. Let's see if we can't get home safely in this Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. Also, if you'd like to leave some, a comment below about do you have any big plans in 2024? I know I've got a big trip coming up at the end of 2024. More about that later on. We'll probably head out to Colorado sometime this year. Uh, we're also going to take a cruise to the Caribbean this year. What, uh, what do you guys have planned? Leave me a comment below. Let's share the fun. Guys, I'm running low on battery, so I am going to end this moto vlog here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for tuning in today. I will talk to you again soon. And until then, my friends, ride safe and God bless.